Welcome to globalytraining.com. Globalytraining.com offers online courses covering various software technologies. New courses are added on a regular basis. You can email us at training at globalytraining.com or you can call us at 732-588-6564. Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to the UFT training videos. In this video, we will look at uh, uh, record and run settings. So primarily, we will learn to start application so that we can record the functionality or the activity. So let us uh, first go to that area, record. Under record menu, we have record and run settings. On this um, a dialog box, we have three tabs, Java, web and windows applications uh, we use java when we work with java based applications uh, and you know obviously when we work with the web where we if we have to go to um, say for example amazon.com or hotmail.com to record activity on the website then we would use this tab and we would use windows tab you know whenever we work with windows applications like uh, the flight simulator you know that comes with uh, the EFT software or if you want to record something on Windows Calculator you know you would use it so let me uh, start uh, you know, with the Windows based applications then I'll move into a web based application and then we'll talk about how how we can actually invoke the application directly using the code so starting with Windows <coughs> let's say for example I want to uh, start uh, Windows Calculator. So I'll just put Windows Calculator there. The working folder I can uh, leave as it is, or you know, at least for this, you know, it's really not relevant. I'll just leave it there, and the program itself does not have any uh, arguments. And you can do when you know, cal, calc or clc, or we can do vlc.exe, or you can give the full path. Uh, say for example uh, if I do a start run and if I do CLC when I type that you know I actually you know get the uh, calculator prompt here that means the system recognizes it so I'll check that I mean I'll key that in say okay and then you know we will need first we need to make sure that it appears here uh, within this box so I'm going to set this way and apply it and do OK. Now let me start recording. I'm going to hit the red button here, record F6. And you know, we have, um, you know, the Windows calculator started. So I just want to demo the process of starting application. So I'll not record anything. So that's uh, one way. Let me go back to record and run settings and, uh, you know, instead of doing calculator, I'm going to start uh, the flight simulator. I'm going to delete that to add again and use a drop down here by default. You know, it does have, uh, you know, a, a link there. So I'm, that's a whole, it's a, it's a complete path from all the way from C drive to, you know, wherever this flight 4A.exe is located. I'm going to pick that, do OK, make sure it again appeared here within this uh, box here. I can adjust these columns to see and make sure that you know it's a flight for .exe. Once we have it, I'm going to apply and click OK. Now let me uh, click the record button here, uh, which is, you know, or you can hit F6 on your keyboard. Click it. And then I'm getting a prompt here for user control. Go ahead and say yes for it. And here you go. We have the application running. So let me go ahead and stop recording. Minimize uh, EFT for a quick second. Okay. Now, so we looked at, uh, you know, run settings in a way 
in such a way to you know start a windows based application let me go back there again and this time i will go to web and i will um, enter www.hotmail.com apply okay just to show you that uh, I don't have anything here uh, so I don't have any applications running I don't have Windows based application I don't have any browser running uh, I'll go ahead and hit the record button let's see what happens so first it pro it's prompting uh, me for user uh, account control to start uh, the flight simulator to Windows based application and on top of that it launched the web browser with uh, hotmail.com so it, it launched the browser and it went to hotmail.com website uh, we'll close this stop recording I'll clear this activity here close this as well so our intention was to start just the browser and you know, open the browser and then go to uh, hotmail.com but what it did was it actually started the you know windows based application as well let's go back to record and run settings see what's happening so because you know it, under the web web tab it says you know go ahead and start this here and then within the windows applications you know it says you know record and run only on on this so when you say record it's going to invoke this and also it is going to invoke a browser based on the setting so if you want to invoke the browser only we can go back to windows apps and pick the first radio button this would this will not start any windows application go back to web make sure the second radio button is selected click ok now when I do record then it should not start our flight simulator as you just saw it just you know fired the browser and went to hotmail.com let me stop this and this time you know we have been using you know record and run settings so let me go ahead and select the radio first radio button meaning the application I mean you know the the UFT will not start any uh, web-based application uh, I'll make sure the first radio button is selected for Windows as well uh, for um, for Java you know I can pick the first radio button as well so if I try to record now you know there's nothing happening that means you can I mean, it, I mean the browser itself is not invoked let me close the existing browser let me run one more time to record so with the current setting you know the UFT did not start a Windows application it did not fire a browser to you know navigate to any sort of URL it just started the recording so whatever you know within your system let's say for example if you manually start something it'll start recording so even that's not our uh, you know preferred choice now let me show you the programmatic way of uh, you know starting uh, applications for our recording purposes so I can use uh, there's a, um, a system command called uh, system dot util I can do system as far as I did a control space bar it will uh, bring up the menu I can pick I can I'm using my uh, down arrow to go to system util and hit enter so system util dot I want to run something and uh, let's say I want to run a calculator I can say calc dot exe done now if I run this uh, script you know it would actually invoke the application uh, technically this is how you start it so you would start the application manually and then you will insert it so uh, for example if I do something like this I want to record uh, what I'll do I'll do go ahead and start the calculator so I already have the calculator open then I'll do record then I'll you know 
go to my calculator I'll do 1 plus 2 equal to and stop it so I have a basic recording here I'm gonna close this uh, calculator and now let me see if I can run it I'm gonna run it now the problem is you know we did not uh, you know kind of set the record and run settings in such a way to start the calculator or we don't have a statement to or a core you know, a line within the code to start the Windows uh, calculator it's now sitting on line 2 trying to you know find calculator move it around so it says that you know it, it cannot find this object go stop it of course it will fail so now what I'll do is I'll use our you know system util dot run and I'm giving calculator here so when I do that the very first step is you know starting the you know application here is where starting the application and then it'll start you know uh, working with the calculator so let me go ahead and run it so it started 1 plus 3 equal to 1 plus 2 equal to 3 and it passed so let me go ahead and close the calculator so what we did was we actually had the application open manually and then we recorded something and then we came back and here and added this line there okay so that's how you start a windows based application and pretty much every production script that you would see in real time they'll have this line in there to start the application they will never use the record and run settings so now let me uh, you know, show you how we can start uh, a browser based application uh, here same thing you know I'll say start it's a comment you'll know, say you know start ie and nav to hotmail.com that's a comment again we'll do the same uh, command system util dot run this time we'll start explorer i explore dot exe is the executable to start uh, web browser I mean Internet Explorer uh, but we ha you know if we you do that it will open up your browser just like you would open your browser but you, we need to t tell the system to go to hotmail.com all we have to do is comma and then pass in www.hotmail.com this would start the application so I'll leave as it is save the script and I'll manually invoke the browser go to hotmail.com and keep this open go back to the browser here sorry I mean to say UFT here so I already have this command that's fine now I'll start recording I'll say record so I'm going to record on this I'm going to enter global etraining.com at hotmail.com and something something that was just invalid uh, credentials just for testing purposes stop so I have this so now what I'll do is I don't have the browser open uh, you can see here I don't have it open let me go ahead and run it if I run it what what I would expect it to do is you know it should invoke the browser go to hotmail.com and you know start entering those details okay it you know it started keying in of course it failed that's okay that that's exactly what it's doing it's just uh, going to the you know, going to IE browser and navigating you to hotmail.com and entering or passing in user and password whatever we had in the script and you know it it didn't do anything I didn't click the login or anything it just you know finished the script so this is how you start your uh, web browser applications and pretty much hundred percent I, I have never seen any real-time script where they were using uh, record and run settings to start application this is how you know uh, most of the QTP engineers or UFT engineers start uh, their applications uh, I think uh, I would highly highly recommend to start using uh, system util dot run so that is to start the browser let me go ahead and remove this 
comment this here as well and let's say you want to start your uh, uh, samples application util dot run and we know that you know windows uh, sample application or you know the sample application that comes with the uft is a windows based application that means it's a .exe file all we need to know is the path do this start programs browse to your hp software go to sample applications and go to flights gui right click on it go to properties and just copy the target here because that's the uh, .exe path I'm going to select the whole thing control C copy that bring in here and paste it there and you're done it, it I mean this .exe does not require any uh, arguments so you're just saying system util and run and you're passing in the full path to the .exe so let me save the script run it once and see if this works okay I'm getting a prompt here for um, user account controls I'm clicking yes for that and it started the application well so so the different you know uh, types of uh, you know starting application uh, one was through uh, uh, record and run settings the other was uh, using the system util dot run system util dot run is a preferred way of starting your applications from the get-go from the very beginning I would highly recommend to start using system util dot run command to start your uh, applications for recording well uh, that's it uh, in this video uh, I know it was uh, kind of a little long uh, video but it's all around starting the application but this will definitely help you uh, throughout your uh, learning okay thank you and uh, you know talk to you in the next video